This story was tagged to me on Twitter by Ashton Lewis, and this story right here is going to fall right into the category of many other stories I've talked about when it's come when it, when it comes to wrongfully convicted black men and ha- them having to spend numerous amount of years behind bars. But what makes this one even worse is the fact that this man spent four decades, 43 years to be exact, behind bars. And when he finally is able to get his restitution, the city in which has incarcerated him decided to block it. So in this picture, you see a man by the name of Clifford Williams. And this story, of course, is coming out of Florida, which seems to be the hub of fuckery. He spent 43 years in jail behind bars for a a crime he did not commit since 1976. He was set to receive a $2.5 million restitution, compensation, however you want to put it. But now the city has blocked him from receiving that. It's bad enough that he spent 43 years of his life. 43 years he's not going to get back behind bars for a crime he didn't commit. And the one thing that they could do for him, they're deciding that they're probably not going to do. So he basically just gave them all his time behind bars, which which actually helps funds the prison that he was staying in. And he doesn't get a dime out of it, possibly. Hopefully, he has some strong lawyers behind him in order to push that he not only gets the $2.5 million, but also to give him more for wasting their time. The article reads, and it's coming from Atlanta Black Star, A Florida man wrongfully convicted of murder is on yet another quest for justice. It was less than a year ago that Clifford Williams and his nephew Nathan Myers were cleared of the 1976 murder of a Jacksonville woman and the attempted murder of her roommate. The two men would spend 43 years in prison before the state's attorney office confirmed their innocence. I had to pull up another image right here to show the nephew and the um and the uncle because I only had just the uncle up there. But these are the two right here that spent 43 years behind bars. At first, I didn't know that it was two of them. I thought it was just one, which makes it even worse. And what, in my opinion, they should now, now knowing that it's two of them, they should get way more than $2.5 million unless they want to give them $2.5 million each. I just waited to get out and be with my kids, Williams, who also spent five years on death row, told reporters after his release last March. There wasn't nobody but them. Under Florida law, those who have been wrongfully convicted and can prove it are eligible to receive up to $50,000 for every year they were in prison. It excludes people like Williams, however, who have prior convictions. Get the fuck out of here. You know, they always find a goddamn loophole whenever it involves a black man who's been wrongfully convicted of some shit. Now, not to get off topic, I'm still on topic, but I'm getting off this topic for a little bit. In the last maybe two weeks, I have come across maybe five different stories that I did not talk about. But five different stories just about that involved a black man or black men being released from prison for crimes they didn't commit. And do you know that every last one of those who them, those men who spent years behind bars, that stories that I came across, none, none of them were less than 30 years. So we're talking about any time in the 80s and above. That's crazy. It, uh, let's see, the 77-year-old headed to Tallahassee this week to fight for compensation local lawmakers say is owed to him by the state, $2.5 million to be exact. According to First Coast News, House and Senate Democrats, along with Williams Lawyers and Innocent Project of Florida, are now working to authorize a claims bill that will compensate the elderly man for his time served. Williams was present at the House Civil Justice Subcommittee hearing on Wednesday where his bill received unanimous approval from the panel. And apology from committee chair Bob Rommel. I want to apologize on the behalf of the state of Florida, Rommel told him. We can never give your time back or never give you back your time. The chairman promised to work hard, quote unquote, to get the measure passed and said he hoped the compensation would provide some comfort to the wrongfully imprisoned man. Now knowing that this man has been spending all these years in jail since 1976 and he's now 77 years of age. I'm willing to bet that they were banking that he would not get out of jail or he would die in jail or that he's probably going to die really soon. That way, they would have no money to pay him. 
See, this system, they think they slick. They think they can pull the wool over our eyes and that we are just supposed to roll over and just take the shit. Unfortunately, too many of us will probably be the ones to do it. Or some of us will be the ones that don't know what's going on and they'll just go wherever they tell them to go. And usually that lands them into a dead end. But I see it for what it is. A separate measure would also remove the so-called clean hands that rule that restricts automatic compensation for wrongfully incarcerated people with prior felony convictions. Creative loafing reported. How many dollars can replace the pain, the grief, and the torment that he endured being an innocent man behind bars, said Jacksonville Representative Kimberly Daniels, who sponsored Williams' proposal. How much can you give a man for taking away 43 years of his life? While many saw the bill's approval as a huge step in the right direction, lawmakers say there's still a long road ahead. Claims bills take, can take several years before they're passed. Now, look at that. The claims bill in which this man needs in order to get his money, they said it takes several years. The man is 77. Several years is more than one. It's more than two. Hell, it could be more than five. See, they're banking that this man's probably going to die because he's already up in age. That way they were like, oh, he passed. Well, we don't have to pay anything now. I mean, how can we compensate a dead man? Still, William says he remains hopeful. I just trusted God for these 43 years. He said we can't rush him. It is so it is so sad that this man lost 43 years of his life being wrongfully convicted. And when he thinks he's going to get compensated, he can't because they said he had prior convictions. But notice the article did not specify what the prior convictions were. And I bet you it was probably some low level crimes that amounts to maybe probation or a warning. But. It almost reminds me of that other one where that guy's spending all that time in jail right now under the makeshift three strikes that happened in that particular state, which I believe was in Alabama. In which he didn't murder anybody, but he's still in jail to this day because they were going off of his prior convictions. Remember, I did a video where it said Maryland has the highest rated amount of black men incarcerated in the state in America. And I bet you most of them are some low level crimes that and most of them are probably not even murder. But people want to claim that black men are the white people of the black community. Yeah, the fuck right. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this story down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Twitter if you haven't done so already. Have your notifications turned on and I will talk to you in the next one.